Welcome to our channel Lightling Vision. Today, Mother will continue with part two of the subject on, on personality and individuality. So I, I hope that you, you listen to the first part because it's very important. And I'll, I would also like to mention that uh, what Mother talks about is a little bit difficult to grasp at the beginning because I've been, I've been lucky enough to read her books. So it's easier for me, but I must admit it's not that easy. <laughs> I'm still experiencing and it's really helping uh, in everybody's lives, or even around me, like my friends, my family. So thank you, Mother. So we, we will uh, listen to you for this. I'm touched. We'll listen to you for the second part. Okay, I'll try. As I already said in the first part, it's a difficult subject because um, there is the difference between talking about a personality and being touched, deeply touched by something that does not get the way you want. And already a child knows this problem. <laughs> a child wants the candy. And perhaps mother doesn't want it because it's time for dinner. <laughs> and now mother says no. Now what will a child do? There are children that, uh, that accept, but that's rather rare, I think. They will start grinding teeth when they have their teeth already, <laughs> or they will start crying, or, or, or with their fists on, on, on the little table, or, or where they are. Something in a child does not agree, wants the candy, and has absolutely no notion of why it's better to eat good food. For the child, the candy and the, the, the meal the mother prepared are exactly the same and even for him the candy is better. That is the inner state of man. With all the illusions we make ourselves about how intelligent we are, how much evolved we are, how, how much wisdom we possess, forget it. That's the first act of humiliation you undergo when you put your feet on a path that goes to your soul. You will have to accept that with all your knowledge you know nothing. Because it's just the game inside. Submission to your soul, basically, if I put it in terms of white and black. But there's a big truth, truth in it. It's just the game about the child, between the child and the mother, the child who wants the sweets and the mother who wants the, to give the child healthy food. The soul represents the healthy food, food. and the, the, the child is the personality in us that wants the sweets. If you ask any individual in the world what is his aim in life, he will talk to you about the sweets. To have happiness, somebody who makes me happy, a, a work that is nice to do. I will have enough money to do all the things I like to do in my life uh, outside of my, my daily work. I can go on holiday, I can do the sports I like, I can buy the clothes I like, I can eat the food that I like to eat, I can go to restaurants. That is the ideal of the lower nature in us. And there is rarely an exception on that. Uh, there is no exception. You can have this in different degrees, more or less strong. That depends on, on, the, on the, the field. Uh, perhaps you are more attached to food and somebody else is more attached to, to uh, going on a holiday. But that's the only difference. We are still talking about the lower nature and her vision of life. So the lower nature in us is characterized by desires of a very primary nature. Food, sexuality, uh, pleasures of all kinds, distractions, perhaps a kind of admiration, love that has to be given to me. Already facing this in yourself as part of your inner makeup, of your, the reality of your personality, is very difficult. 
for a Westerner. A Westerner, when you see things in a basic way, wants to see himself as a grown-up personality. Of course, he has, has certain tendencies, but he, he masters that. He, 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 can, he can control that. that. That, in fact, a lot of tendencies control him ah, that either he's not aware of it or he hasn't seen it. Everybody knows it around him. He's bullied by his wife, by his son. He's drinking or she is drinking. She is uh, turning around the guy that doesn't want her and she can't let go. So who's possessed? By what? We're all possessed by the personality and the desire this personality has. And we call that myself. We diminish all the aspects of our behavior and of our being that are not very, that, that will not have much value. In fact, and now I'm very nasty, we are disguised, disguised children. But we don't want to see it. <laughs> so when we talk about transforming the ego, going the path towards the soul, who wants to, to face this? You can face this only if you go very deeply in your life and if, if you are hurted by, by many problems. If the problems get too big in your life, your wife has gone away, your children use drugs, uh, you, you have had a car accident and, 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 and your body is completely uh, paralyzed, paralyzed or, or something very difficult has to happen in life of Western men and women. To be taken to the point in themselves that they can face this reality and that they say, yes, but there's something perhaps the matter with me. And my functioning. But before a human being comes to that point, very often it has to happen several lives in a row. So it needs five to ten lives with serious problems before an individual comes to the point that he says to himself, yeah, but perhaps I have to, to become somebody else. <laughs> this doesn't work. What I create for myself, and there he already knows that some, somehow he's responsible for his, his fate. He has become conscious little by little that nothing is a hazard. And what I live, some, somehow I must have created this or, or attracted it. But then what is this me? And why does it get out of hand? If I'm controlling my life, if I'm this personality that's controlling every aspect of my life, then everything should work smoothly in my life. Because why would I create problems for myself? The, 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 the bare existence of problems show that you're not in control. Because otherwise nothing would be a problem for you. If things and persons are a problem for you in your life, that means that something else is going on, not you. Not just you in your kingdom, as a queen or a king, and all the others do what you want. So the first thing I would explain to Westerners about this subject is, perhaps the first act, positive act, in the direction of your soul you can, can do, by admitting honestly that there are many factors in your life that control you. So saying that you are completely free, the king of your kingdom, you decide. That can count for a few domains in your life, for a few aspects of your life, but not for the whole of your life. Having the courage to see that you're bullied by your children, your wife, your man, your boss, 
don't say it's because of the money that you accept. No, I don't think that might be, but if you go deeper in it, you will see it's not the main factor. Or you're, you're guided by, by drinking or eating, or your vanity, not getting older, whatever. Something in your life is, is having you under his control in one way or another. And I think this is the, the initiative path for the West. The Westerner will one day, in one life, whatever that life might be, this life, next life, one day have to admit that something or somebody in his life is controlling him. And that's the most difficult part <laughs> of, his, uh, of what he can find out in his life. Because that means that he's not mastering his life. Well, when you come to that point, I will say you're very close to the solution. Because then you will see there's another part in you that will end up mastering this, this factor. In its own way. Not the way you think. In a better way. And that factor in you, that higher self, will make you really free. But for the moment you think you're free and you're not. That is for me the part of the West. This fact, factor, this person, this situation in your life, that's all the time there and you can't control it. It controls you. Then what is you? Who are you? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mother. So please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video and we will see you very soon for the next ones and I invite you to listen to the beautiful song by the group.